Hello everyone on YouTube, welcome back. This is Jordan here, bringing you another video. And in this video, it's going to be a talkback tutorial. But we're not going to be using touch gestures, as the device I've got doesn't have a touch screen. Uh, I'm using my Android laptop, and we're going to be using talkback keyboard shortcuts. So, uh, I, hope I, just, I hope I didn't knock it off. Pause, stop taking. Yeah, I'm still recording. Now, do I have room for my Android laptop? Yes, I do. I'm going to have to put the keyboard here, and I'll put the laptop here. Now, this, bear in mind, the battery does go really quick on this, so I don't know how much I'll be able to do. So here we are, talk back. The tutorial doesn't say anything about keyboard shortcuts, but after watching this video, you'll get an idea of how to use talk back with keyboard shortcuts. Now, we're going to be covering the basics, and this will help you navigate Android as well, because uh, some of these keyboards are also Android specific. Like the first one I'm going to show you, to go to your home screen from any location, you simply press the Windows key, or the Meta key in this case. Home screen one of one. And you can and you immediately know that I'm in my home screen. But there is also another way you can, you can um, go to your home screen, but we're going to cover that in a bit. What I'm going to do now, though, is show you how to navigate the screen. Now, on a touch device, to navigate the screen using TalkBack, you simply um, you simply got to use Alt and the right arrow key. Gmail messages search the 20th Wednesday, 2022 maps Play Store apps list messages Gmail Chrome. So, that's how to navigate the uh, items on the screen. And I know to go back, Gmail, messages. it's Alt and the left arrow key. Apps list. Press all. Now, let's, let's talk about moving to the bottom. Let's talk about activating an item. So, here I am on a button. Now, on, on, TalkBack is really good at telling you um, which button it is to activate an item. The apps list. Press Alt plus Enter to activate. Press Alt plus Shift plus Enter to long press. Actions available. Use swipe up then right to view. Now, um, it said use swipe up and right to view. I'm going to get to that in a bit. But for now, we're going to press Alt and Enter to open our apps list. Apps list. Search apps. Edit box. Press Alt plus Enter to edit text. Press Alt plus Shift plus Enter to long press. Edit options available. Use swipe up then right to view. So, um, here I am in my apps list and it's all alphabetical order. So, we're going to navigate this. Settings. Just to see what we've got. Files. Link to SD. Nitrosha. Lumu. Amazon Alexa. AMD Link. Android Manager. Android System Up. APK Up. Aqua Mail. Assistant. Blue Mail. Calendar. Calibration. Camera. Canary. Chrome. Cock. Contact. Dreamlab. Drive. Duo. Facebook. Family Hub. Files. Fire TV. Firefox. Press. That sort of thing. But, um, TalkBack doesn't have first letter navigation, so. If you want to find an app, you're going to have to keep navigating until you find the app you want. Uh, um, Android doesn't, uh, a lot of Android apps, they don't tell you they've got keyboard shortcuts. But I would really love for this feature, um, for TalkBack to um, uh, tell you that there were keyboard, that, uh, keyboard shortcuts are available in an app. Especially if you're using TalkBack on a device that only has a keyboard. Um, so, um, yeah, that sort of thing. So if you want to go to the bottom of the list, you simply use Control, Alt, and the right arrow key. Gallery. Gallery. Well, this doesn't work from within the, uh, this doesn't work from within, in all contexts, but 99% of the time, 99.9% uh, of the time, if you're not in your, um, app drawer, um, or you're in another app, this will generally take you to the bottom of the uh, of the uh, window and um, keep you there and to get to the top 
you use Control, Alt, and Search Apps, and the uh, left arrow key, which seems to have worked. So I'm at the top of my uh, I'm at the top of my uh, uh, apps list, right where I started. I'm on the Search Apps field. Now, th here's another good example. Um, you can search for apps too. So listen to what it says. Search apps, edit box, out of grid. Press Alt plus Enter to edit text. Press Alt plus Shift plus Enter to long press. Edit options available. Use swipe up then right to view. So it said there's an edit box. So um, what you want to do to get into the edit box is press Alt and Enter as it said. Pixel launcher. Settings. Editing. D. And here we are in the edit box. So I'm going to search for an app. Let's try and find Twitter. T double R T T E R. Twitter in grid. Search for more app. Twitter. Press Alt. And it's found Twitter. And we can just simply press Alt and Enter to launch it. Show navigation draw button. Press Alt plus Enter to activate. And now Top tweets you off. can see I'm inside Twitter. So remember how I said there's another way of getting to the home um, screen? Well, simply pressing Control, Alt, and H will do exactly that. Home screen one of one. Apps list. Home screen one of one. Press Alt plus Enter to activate. Press Alt plus Shift plus Enter to long press. Actions available. Use Swipe Up then right to view. Now, I'm on an older version of TalkBack, so I've got a global context menu and a local context menu. Um, what I'm going to show you now is how to activate one of those context menus. So, let's say you're in your apps list. Message apps list. Apps list. Amazon Alexa. Let's uh, AMD Amazon Alexa. Use Amazon Alexa for instance. What you simply got to do is control and space. Oh no, alt and space. Alert global context menu. That opens Selected. read from top 1 of 10. That opens the local global context menu which gives you some uh, basic uh, control. So we've got read from next Read from next item. So this is this is actually a global context menu. I don't know how to get in, I don't know how to get local context menu up using a keyboard yet. I'll probably figure it out. Um, but we're going to be talking about Control Shift and Enter later on. Um, so let's just go through the op these options we've got. Repeat last utterance three of ten. Spell last utterance. 4 of 10. Copy last utterance to clipboard. 5 of 10. Screen search. 6 of 10. Talkback settings. 7 of 10. Text to speech settings. 8 of 10. Languages. 9 of 10. Dim screen. 10 of 10. Cancel. Button. Out of list. And that, launcher. Amazon Alexa. that gets us out of our menu. So, um, next thing I want to show you is how to activate custom actions. Now, the launcher I'm using is a, the, um, somehow it doesn't work in here, but other home screen launchers, it probably will. AMD Android Manager. Androids APK AquaMail. So let's use AquaMail as an instance. Pressing Alt, Shift and Enter would normally bring up a shortcuts list, but Assistant. doesn't work with the Pixel launcher for some reason. Um, let me see if I can find somewhere where it does. G Pro, G Message Apps, Plays, Apps, Left Pro, G Message Apps, Lift, Apps, Anno, Caleb, Capcut Pro, Pop, Comp, Green, Drive, Dual, Faith, Family, Files. Let's open Files. Imps, Downloads, Selected, Images, Press all. Now in your file manager, you can just use the arrow keys. Nitro. And press Enter to go into a folder. You don't need to use Top. You don't really need to use talkback commands while navigating the files. 
Pixel Apps, Android Accessibility Suite, Samsung Galaxy Store, Pixel Apps, Row 1. Here I have a zip file, and if I use Alt, Shift, and Enter, oh wow, I thought it would work. For some reason, it doesn't want to be. It doesn't want to do anything for me today. Let me let me go into an app that supports it. Nitro Share, for instance. Nitro Share. Open navigation. Menu. So. Send item, settings, send, send item. item, wrong press to send multiple items, send items, navigate. Now, you've heard it say, long press to send multiple items. Uh, you can use any app here, you don't have to use the app I'm using. Um, send more, selected, alarms. So here's my alarms folder, if I do a long press, which is Alt, Shift and Enter. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be one. It doesn't seem to want to work for me today. Android music podcast ringtones podcasts zero ringtone podcasts zero items five days ago fifteen thirty one ten of eleven. No, um, normally though. If you were in your apps list and you use Alt, Shift and Enter, um, it would tell you what options are available for the app. So, um, I don't have any other launchers installed on here to show you, so I'm going to give that a pass. Uh, but, if you, but it's like a context menu, if you will. So I'll give that a pass, because that doesn't seem to be wanting to work. Uh, might, be a, might be specific to the version of TalkBack I'm using, but this is the latest version of TalkBack that can run on this device. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you um, um, on this uh, tutorial is uh, some more basics. So you already know how to go to the home screen on TalkBack. Um, these are global actions so you can go to these from anywhere. To go to the notifications screen, Alt, no, Control Alt and N. Notification shade. 958. Notification shade. And to clear them, remember the uh, the uh, Alt Control left and Alt Control right arrow keys we've talked about before. Um, simply going. Expand. Um, sometimes this will work, but if you've not got so many notifications, this will let you clear them. And TalkBack has frozen. Oh no, it hasn't. It's still working. Expand. I'm just going to clear these because I don't want them. Clear all notifications. Pixel launcher. Search. Button. Pixel launcher. Home screen one of one. Press all. There we go. Now my home screen looks a bit tidier. Um, email. Okay. Oh, I've got emails again. The twenty-first when's maps. Let's just clear those. The problem with Android is it doesn't clear them all. You have to keep doing this until you get no notifications. Clear all no Pixel launcher. Search button. Home screen one of one. Home screen one of one. Here comes Catalina, more. Here come those reminders from Google Assistant. Uh, let me clear those again. Ah! Clear all, Clear all notifications yet Pixel again. Launcher. Search. Button. Home screen one of one. Home screen one of one. Press all plus enter to activate. Ten notification from Google Chrome. Start Current up. time right. ten o'clock. Actions window. Just tweeted. Bring on the bar. Yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of distracting notifications. Let me just Notif clear that clear off the screen from Twitter. Pixel launcher, search, button, home screen one of one, home screen one of one. Press Alt plus enter to activate. Actions available. You swipe up then right to view. Now, 
now that we've done, now that we've dealt with all those notifications, you definitely want to keep, this is definitely a command you're definitely going to remember. Because if you've got too many notifications, then apps are not going to notify you, some apps, like Outlook in particular. Um, if you've got too many notifications from a specific app, you're going to want to go into this and clear them. So that's Control Alt and M to clear notifications. Now, Control Alt and R takes you to your recent apps. A quick step, files, 9 of 10. And you can see that I'm in the app switcher now. And I have open at the moment NitroShare, Nitro Share, Twitter, Twitter, Chrome, Chrome, Google, Google, Settings, and Settings. Now you can switch to these by double tap by uh, pressing Alt and Enter on them. To Google, to top, to Google Play Store, Play Store, to Smart Switch. But I want to be able to close all these apps. Clear. So clear all. at the top of the window is the Clear All button, and if you press that, Clear All button. Home screen one of one. Maps. Home screen one of one. None of the apps are open in press the app switcher now. So that's activate. Press all plus shift plus enter to long press. That's cleared that. Oh, and if I haven't told you yet, um a control and enter silences speech. Oh no, control just pressing control silences speech. Uh now we're going to look at website navigation. So I'm going to my Play apps store, map. list Wednesday, again. Map, the apps list. Apps. And I'm going to I'm going I'm going to open Chrome here. Search or type web address, edit box, Chrome. Now um I'm I'm a, this is a perfect way to edit. So uh what shall we search for? Your daily joke, get ready to laugh. Google Assistant again. Uh Braille Note Touch Plus. to record audio. Deny, deny, Chrome, search or... Um, let's try control on L. One suggested items in list below. There we go. Now we can type. No, actually, let's look for something relevant. Uh, Use talkback on Android. Five percent progress bar showing text keyboard. Use talkback on Android. Google search. Now to navigate by heading headings, um, you use Alt and H. Search search featured snippet. Talkback accessibility on Android YouTube. People also, how do I use talkback mode? What is, is there, how do Get started on Android with talkback, Android accessibility help, Google support. Now I love the fact that uh, it switches languages, uh, voices based on the type of language presentation. So here we have this uh, official Google support one. So you can press Alt and Enter on that to launch it. 5% progress bar. Get started on Android with TalkBack, Android Accessibility Help, WebView, 80%. Now, we're in a, we're in a, a very, we're, we're in a really good position here where I can demonstrate some of these. So, you already know how to navigate headings. Now, to navigate links, it's Alt and L. Skip to main content, Android Accessibility Help, Link, turn on TalkBack. Link. Navigate your device with TalkBack. Link. Set up Android and TalkBack. Link. Press Alt plus Enter to activate. Now you can use Alt and Enter to activate links. Open in new tab. Set up Android and TalkBack. Support.google.com It looks like Alt, Shift and Enter can open the link in a new tab. That's awesome. I didn't know that before. And let me see if Control T works. Thought not. Bullet. Use talkback gestures. So now I'm going to show you how to read an entire document. Use the talkback tutorial, heading two. So this is a perfect place to start reading. Now pressing Control, Alt and Enter will begin reading. Alert new continuous reading controls. After selecting read from top or read from next, you can navigate to the previous or next element while the text is being read. 
This lets you go back or skip ahead with ease. Tick. Always show this not tick. Oh yeah, and pressing, um, I also forgot to talk about tick boxes. Now if you only do see those, you simply press Alt and Enter to, 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 to tick those or untick them. Cancel, okay. And I'm going to click OK and then this is going to start reading. Get started on Android with TalkBack. Android Accessibility Help, selected tab. Close get started on Android with TalkBack. Android accept shortcut not supported. Skip to main. Get started on get started on Android with TalkBack. Android Accessibility Help, selected tab. Close get started oh, on no. Android. I think it only reads from the top. But that's for reading from the top. Uh, let me see. How do I read from how do I read from where I am? Shortcut, shortcut, collab, get started. Well, we've got that handy talkback menu if you remember rightly. Control and space. Alert global context menu. Read from next item. Selected. Read from top. One of ten. Read repeat last utterance. Read from Let's try read from next item. Talkback is the Google screen reader included on Android devices. Talkback gives you eyes free control of your device. The setup of your device depends on the device manufacturer, Android version and Talkback version. These help pages apply to most devices, but you might experience some differences. Important, multi-finger gestures are available. Bullet, on Talkback 9.1, on updated Pixel 3 and up. Bullet, on some other OEM devices. Bullet, starting in March 2021. To learn about TalkBack on your Android device, try these help pages. So that's how to, that's basically how to read, that's basically how to read, that's just a simple demonstration of reading. Uh, so whenever you're on the, uh, whenever you read, always use the read from next function, that seems to work, wherever the cursor is. If you use read from top, it's going to bring the, t it's going to bring the cursor back to the beginning again, and you don't want to do that. So, um, what else should you know? Enable dark mode button. Navigating buttons, use uh, ZXCVB, Alt and B. Edit boxes is E, with Alt held down. And to tap in another web address, in Chrome in particular, uh, we simply press Ctrl and L. Showing URL keyboard. So let's just tap in something at random. Tesco.com and we press enter. Five percent progress bar showing text keyboard. Tesco supermarkets online groceries club card and recipes. And it's already loaded us into te into the Tesco's website. I've gone back to my home so. screen using the Windows key. Um, I don't know if I've got anything else to show you now, um, but. Um, if you're new to Android on a keyboard, uh, into Android in general, um, here's where you can set up TalkBack proper. So you can find it in settings. I'm going to go into my settings real quick. That's settings. Settings. Search in settings. Now this tutorial assumes you're using a stock version of Android 8.1 and above. I'm using Android 9. Uh, Network and internet, Wi-Fi, data usage, hotspot, one of connected devices, Bluetooth, two of four, apps and notifications, battery, 89%, display, sound, Android X86 options, storage, 57, security and location, Screen lock, accounts, Y, sport, messenger, PC loud, 10 of accessibility, screen readers, display, interaction controls, 11 of 14. So we're going to accessibility. Accessibility. Navigate, access, search, volume key shortcut, talkback, downloaded surf, spiel, switch access, talkback. Here we have talkback. On, talkback, navigate. And talkback. Here is where you can turn it on or off. Now, when you first get started, I recommend setting up a, um, an accessibility shortcut for TalkBack. 
and um, what that will enable you to do is turn on talkback from anywhere. I've set it to both volume keys, so if I press, well actually no, I'm not going to press them now because it will take me out of the talkback thing. So what I do generally do, use service. But when, if you're a sighted individual and you want to set up talkback for someone, this is where you would go. So, talkback. We're in the talkback section. Use service. Use service. On. Switch. So you just click the on button. Settings. One of two. Now it's very easy to accidentally turn on talkback on some phones or tablets or any other Android device. Uh, you'll get instru uh, Listen carefully to the instructions if this applies to you. When talkback is on. It provides spoken feedback so that you can use your device without looking at the screen. This can be helpful for people who are blind or partially sighted. To navigate using TalkBack, swipe right or left to move between items, double tap to activate an item, drag two fingers to scroll to turn off TalkBack, tap the switch. You'll see a green outline. Double tap the switch. On the confirmation message, tap OK. Then double tap OK. Two of two. And there's a green outline as well. So if you see that green outline, uh, double tap it. That's what it's trying to tell you. Settings. Now we're going to go into TalkBack settings. And for those who want to configure TalkBack, um, uh, who are new to TalkBack, um, this is pretty easy. Uh, for those who are new to TalkBack, um, follow along. TalkBack settings. Navigate up. Now you can use you can use your touch screen for this. This doesn't necessarily have to apply to keyboard, um, but I want to get it in your head that using Alt and right arrow always navigates to the next item, and using Alt and left arrow navigates to the previous one. Talkback setting version eight point two point zero dot three speech heading text to speech settings. Now here's where you can change your text to speech. Velocity. A lot of this is your standard talkback stuff. This is. Uh, this is for the new for top for new to Android users. Speak passwords. Passwords always spoken on. I always turn this off. I don't want TalkBack reading my passwords. Other feedback. Sound feedback on. Sound feedback volume. Fifty. Audio ducking. Decrease other audio volume while speaking off. Switch. Let's go back to the home screen. screen. So if you ever do want to turn off TalkBack, I'm going to show you it does work. Um, Control and no, both volume keys and the on um, this com on this particular computer it's a Lenovo. I've got F2 and F3. This turns on and off TalkBack. So let's turn it back on again. Talkback on. Pixel launcher. And um, oh yeah, using the print screen key takes a, sh uh, a screenshot. Saving screenshot. So that's all I have in terms of a TalkBack tutorial. Um, if you guys in the comments have got any more helpful tips for those uh, starting out using TalkBack keyboard shortcuts when they're only restricted to using a keyboard, um, feel free to inst include those in the comments because not only does it help me, it, it, it also helps other people who want to learn how to use TalkBack uh, using only a keyboard. So, um, those tips are appreciated. Um, Search the Gwen's Maps Play Store. If there's anything else you want to know how to do using TalkBack, and especially on keyboard shortcuts, uh, let me know because I will, uh, I'll do that on request. Anyway, that's the end of this uh, little TalkBack presentation. Oh, I do need to plug this in because the battery does go pretty quickly on this uh, laptop. So I'll quickly do that now. Wrong charger, that's for my tablet. There we go. way you can turn off talk back announcing when the battery is charging because if you've got a charging sound then talk back doesn't really need to be announcing it 
So if it, so then I want there to be a feature in TalkBack where if it detects you've got a charging sound activated, in, which you can do in your sound settings, uh, then there doesn't need to be a then TalkBack doesn't need to let you know that the device is charging because you've got audible feedback right there. Um, and it's the same for your battery. But I can see, um, but I'd prefer to have TalkBack speak while the, uh, talking on your battery is low because, again, if you, if you don't understand the audio feedback of Android or you're new to Android, then this is fairly good. I do love this feature of, uh, I do love the feature of many Androids. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, thank you all for watching. Pause and stop, Uh This is Jordan signing off, saying have a good day, everyone.